Hello dear friends, welcome back to Ansari Production PS, I am here once again, with a new fresh and juicy tutorial, why I'm saying this, because today we are going to make this juicy apple, and after learning this technique you can try this on different fruits, so let's start. So first of all we need an apple, I downloaded this from Daviant Art, but you can use any image. And second we will need this water image. And third we will use this one, to create some bubbles effect. So first of all I will make two duplicate copies, by pressing Ctrl plus J two times. Then hide the both bottom layers, and select the top layer. Then go to image. Adjustments, and click on desaturate. You can also use its shortcut keys, Shift Ctrl U. Then press Ctrl plus I to invert the colors. Then press Ctrl Shift Alt plus 5 to make the selection of luminosity. Then press Ctrl Shift I to invert the selection. Then press Ctrl plus J to make the duplicate copy of this selection. Then finally press Ctrl plus I to invert the colors again. Now delete this extra layer we don't need this. Now see the magic, a transparent apple. Now to fill this apple with juice, first place this transparent apple layer below the normal apple. Then add a background with any color, so that we can see the transparent apple more visible. Then add the layer mask for both layers, select the layer and click on layer mask button. Let's delete this extra layer, we don't need this anymore. Then select the mask of top layer and fill this with black color, or press Ctrl plus I, to invert the mask. Make sure white color is selected as your foreground color. Then take the brush, make the hardness 100%. And also set the opacity and flow to 100%. Then place the brush, right here and click to unmask the apple. Just like this. And I'm going to make one here, and then I'll make one to left side, you can make your own designs, or you can follow the same, it's totally up to you. You can also take the help of guides, let me draw some guides. Just like this. Perfect. Wow, I'm a good designer. Now I'm going to do same with the bottom part. I'm going to remove this, I'll do it again. Just like this. Now we will use this water image. Just unlock the layer and move it to other window by dragging, or you can use copy and paste. Just like this. Now close this to save your RAM. 
and before resizing the any image, first convert to smart object, right click, and choose convert to smart object. By doing this you will not lose the image quality. Then zoom out and press, Ctrl plus T and resize the image. And if you are using older version, hold the Shift key while resizing. Let's decrease the opacity to see the apple more visible, and set the water accordingly. I think it's looking nice here. Oops, sorry actually my mouse is not working right, and I need to change my mouse. Now I'm going to convert it again, into rasterize. And we will place this layer below the transparent apple. Just like this. Then press and hold the control key, and click on this apple thumbnail to activate the selection. Then select this water layer, and press the layer mask button. Just like this. Then hide the top apple layer, and make sure the mask of water layer is selected. Now take the brush tool, choose a soft round brush with 0% hardness, Select black as your foreground color, then just paint to hide the extra area from the water layer, just like I'm doing here. You can use the square bracket keys, to increase or decrease the brush size. And the most important thing, don't forget to save your work as PSD file and also don't forget to like this video and to subscribe the channel. Now below this water image. We will place this image, to enhance the beauty with some water bubbles. Press Ctrl T to activate free transform. Resize and place according to your choice, and you can also use different image, if you have. OK. I'm happy with this let's place it here. Perfect. Now first I'm going to crop this water image, press Ctrl A, to select all, the go to image and choose crop. Now I'm going to repeat the same procedure, as we did for our first water image. Let's close this first. Now we will mask out the extra area. Or to save our time, we can also copy the mask of our first image, hold the ALT key and drag the mask. Press the YES button to replace the mask. 
and remove the extras. Just like this. Now we need to match the color of both water images, so here I will try hue saturation. Apply layer clipping mask. You can also try color balance, or selective color, do experiments in your work. When you watch any tutorial, always try to learn the aim not the steps, because there are lots of way to do one thing, for example you can do the same thing with level, which you want to do with curve, it's totally up to you which method will you decide to use. I think this is fine. Now let's check if there is any problem behind the scene. Yes, as I was thinking. Let's fix this problem. Now we'll take a screenshot of this water image only, and to do this, make a new blank layer above the hue saturation layer. Then press, Ctrl Shift Alt plus E. Now hide the both water layers, and we have only one layer for water. And now turn on the all other layers. Then select the all layers and group them, use Ctrl plus G to do this. Just like this. Now above the water layer, I will add another hue saturation adjustment layer. Don't forget to press the layer clipping mask button, otherwise you know what will happen. And if you want, you can also change the blend mode for this transparent apple, let's try some blend modes. but I'm happy with the normal mode. Now I'm going to remove some parts of this transparent apple. But if you don't want you can leave, it's totally up to your own choice what do you like. Now we will create some shadow here to give some dimension. And to do this, hold the control key and left click on the mask of this apple layer. Then take the polygonal lasso tool, or any selection tool to remove the extra selection. If you will use the same tool, press the alt key to subtract the selection. Just like this.
Then create a new blank layer below this apple layer. And fill the selection with black color. Just like this. Now let's add another shadow for the bottom area, I'm using the same procedure. Perfect. Now select the top shadow layer, and press the down arrow key to move the shadow little bit down. Then select the other shadow and use up arrow key, to move it upward. Now to make it more realistic, I will apply some Gaussian blur. Apply approximately this much and press OK. And do the same for other shadow. Apply the same values for both. Now I will take a screenshot, to merge the all layers in one layer. Just like this. And now I am inserting a curve adjustment layer, to give the apple more dimension, you can also try camera raw filter. Just like this. This is good, now we will add a shadow below this apple. To do this create a new blank layer, take the ellipse tool and make an ellipse and fill it with solid black color. The size of ellipse is depends upon the size of the apple. Then I'm going to apply some Gaussian blur. Let's change the background color. I'm using linear gradient but you can make in single color, or you can use a radial gradient, or you can also use your own. And finally now it's time for some finishing. So I hope guys you will like this technique, press the like button and must subscribe this channel, thanks for watching.